Oh, that guy. Okay, hey, you know what? I can do that too. Watch. See, I'm pretty good at that, huh? <laughs> First time an old guy gaming in in this episode, we are going to tackle the uh, waterworks and uh, try and knock it out in one episode. I think we can manage to make that happen. Um, I'm continuing to crank out iron. I need about 17 or so more pipes in order to finish the garden. And so we're just get, um, doing the next round here. I've been mining a lot of iron and stuff. And uh, that's all the iron I currently have. I'm going to have to go mine some more. Uh, you've been doing pipes. And you've also been doing iron so you're out of iron entirely so what i think we'll feed into you is let's just keep uh keep some clay going in there um you can make some more forged iron though but we're getting close we're getting close to being finished with the pipes and then uh after that we can get back to other things like uh, getting my steel stockpile back up so that I can go do the repairs that we need to do and the upgrades on the horde base. And, um, okay, so you're doing clay. You got a little bit more iron to go. Let's grab these pipes as well. Okay, so let's come over here and I just estimated that I needed about 17 more pipes. Let's make, let's make 15 more. Well, let's make 12 more. <laughs> These are so expensive, man. 50 ingots per pipe, uh, plus five uh, short iron pipes. Ah, oh, man, I have gone through the iron like crazy. But once it gets, you know, set up and everything gets in place, um, then we're going to be in good shape. So, okay, I think we're ready to go uh, do our quest. I have, um, I've, I've kind of uh, changed the fittings on my armor. So all of my armor now has the custom fittings mod. And even though I'm in heavy armor, I'm still moving you know, better. Uh, and that's even without any points at all in heavy armor, which I'll probably eventually uh, put points into. Uh, I did, you know, we did get the schematic for the hazmat and we have everything except for the gloves. And, um, but you know, we're not quite done with tier four. I'm not even going to attempt tier five until at least we finish tier four. Um, but that's what it requires to make. We might as well, let's just go ahead and make them. So we need military fiber. What else do we need? Duct tape, polymers, and sewing kits. Duct tape, polymers, and sewing kits. And I guess I'm sure we do that in the armorer's bench, which I haven't really used much of. There we go. Okay, so let's craft our gloves, and then we'll have a full hazmat set once those are finished. I'm going to have to redo my spikes because these guys have been tearing tearing stuff up oh that's a tough son of a bitch there man a tier two biker zombie yeah tough 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 okay one thing i've noticed oh never mind um you apparently you have to turn the battery bank on in order to charge the batteries inside of it, which doesn't make sense to me, but because I, I had it turned off and it wasn't charging. But uh, anyway, yeah, so kind of weird. Let us see here. Um, I think we're ready to go then. So we've got, um, you know, stacks of ammo here. Let's reload this. So we got a full stack of everything. And, uh, oh yeah, we got to put this stuff back in here. And let's do it. So this uh, place that we're going is just in town right here. So that should be nice and easy to do. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put these. Uh, no, not those. I'm going to put this in there. I don't... I'm trying to think if there's anything in the waterworks that we might want to take apart. Yeah, if if there is, I'll just you know come, I'll come back and do it later. But we got all our meds and and uh, our candy here. Let's keep the eye candy with us for the end loot. 
And, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so this is a clear and a retrieve quest. So, yeah, let's do it. We'll just follow the, the usual pathway here. Um, also, as usual, I'm not going to loot every single thing. We'll just loot the more significant stuff, and then I can come back later to get anything that I feel uh, is worth coming back for. Yep, get down there. This should be a working stiffs crate, I think. Yeah. Oh, I should have put my luckies on, damn it. Ooh. Nice stuff. All right, I'll take all of that. Not bad at all. Okay, let's hop down here. Neither one of us have very good aim today, huh, buddy? Uh, nope, don't want that. Okay, we're going to get rushed by something coming around the corner here. I've been getting caught up on the on the dev streams for Alpha 20. And uh, so last night, uh, I've watched the first three so far. So last night I watched the one with the characters and the new zombies are pretty, pretty cool, man. The ones with the eye, eyeballs dangling down and stuff. So... It's looking good. Looking good. Yeah, a, a tra the trash and all that stuff, like I said, we'll just do that later. Let's grab the purse here. Okay, we'll take care of that. Usually what I like to do when I get down to this level is break this door open so I can get back out to the bike here. Let's go clear the the exit now while we're up here, because that way I don't have to bring the shovel with me. Just need to stay within range here. I can't see a damn thing. There's a zombie right there, and a zombie right there. We have a little bit too much going on from the outside here. There's three Zombos there. That warrants one of these. Alright. Anybody else? You guys need to get the hell out of here. I've got a quest to do. Okay, so we should get some company trying to come out that door. Oh, there's usually a like a tool crate in here or something. They must have removed it for Ravenhurst. Not going to check the lockers. We don't need any more backpack upgrades. Do need to look into that military backpack upgrade thing, though. Okay, that goes deeper into the place. This goes into... Oh, this is what I was thinking of. Okay. Let's put these back on. All right. That's nice stuff. I can make another... Um, Uzuma was it with that? Not Even though I can actually handcraft the filters, too. Okay, let's just see what's in here. Nothing. Might as well check the trash since we're standing right in front of it. Nope, don't want that stuff. Uh, don't think. Well, I'm starting to. I'm probably gonna go ahead and grow some <clears throat> some weed for the strength buff. You know, once I have so much food, I don't know what to do with it because it does make you hungry. Suck it, Fido. Nobody 
everybody else around this way. Okay. Grab the purse here. A little bit of tuna fish. All right. There's usually one or two Zeeks in here. Edgar. And we got a book case with nothing in it. How about that? I like the, uh, you know, getting, getting the lucky looter skill up because we just open stuff faster, which is really handy. I uh, don't, I might take those. We might, you know, since we have so much more garden space now, we might um, increase some of our crops. I have 20 of everything, but. We might, uh, stuff that I use a lot of, like carrots. I'm always running out of carrots. I'm definitely going to increase those. Okay, so we should have that guy down there. So pretty much this POI and the church POI is exactly the same as vanilla. I haven't noticed any difference at all between them. All right, let's get you. What I'm probably most excited for with Alpha 20, uh, and I haven't watched the dev stream on this one yet specifically, is, you know, just the new world generation and the new, you know, cities with, with more POIs and tighter blocks like a real city. Um, just looking forward to that stuff. All the other stuff is cool too. You know, the new POIs and the new zombie characters. Um, that stuff's all really good too, but I just, one of the things I so love about this game is, you know, the random gin and just, you know, you always get a, a new world when you play it. And, you know, the fact that they're just improving all of that's great. Cause I'll, I'll be honest with you in terms of the layout of the, of the random gin, um, when they made those major changes in alpha 17, I just haven't been a fan of, of that in general. I mean, stuff looks good in terms of, you know, just the way stuff looks and the textures and all that. Um, so it's not about how it looks. It's about how it's arranged and laid out. I mean, we don't have, we haven't had actual cities like the hub city used to be and that sort of thing, you know, since Alpha 17. Um, now you can, where's my satchel? It's down more. Oh, shit. I always, <laughs> I always miss that damn jump. Um, you know, you can use nitrogen, which I have used, to, to make stuff like that. But, I mean, that needs to be in just the normal base game, in my opinion. Okay, let's get all the way on the end and then jump. There we go. Okay, we're going to have a guest drop down here. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited for Alpha 20, um, for sure. Okay, I usually just bust through here to get to the secret stash over here. I mean, you can go the other way too, but I just go this way. It's easier. I don't know if it's easier. It's just I remember to do it and put it that way. Okay, so. Oh, wait, do we got our luckies on? Oh, we do. Okay, we should probably actually put our fork glasses back on. All right, that's decent stuff. All right, let's get ready for some action down here. I'm going to drop a few things. Keep the rest of that. Usually we get some Zeeks coming down this corridor. I guess they're all trying to still break out. Okay, let's... Can we get to this? Yeah, we're gonna break this. Couple of military armor parts. Oh shit! That scared me. Hold still. How'd you get down there? Huh. Well, we gotta kill him. 
Expired. Alright, so we got a zombo in there. Take the honey, and I don't think there's anything else real significant in here. Sometimes this is where the satchel is. But not this time. Okay, so the satchel's on this level and over that way. So I think it's up on that catwalk. Okay, there's another Zeke in here we have to take care of. And a cardboard box. Nope, don't care about that. Um, I think... Can we get to the loot in here? Can't quite reach. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that later then. Okay, let's get our four glasses back on. We're going to need them in this next room. Dang. He's feral. Okay. There's just a purse down there, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to go after that. Satchel's right there. Get some bleeds going on him while we go up here. And put these on. Check the weapons bag. Okay. Well, um, if we ever decide to try hand-to-hand, -hand, uh, at least we have some high-end high uh, steel knuckles now. I should do a... At some point, maybe do a playthrough of seven days and doing just hand to hand. Well, just hand to hand for melee, I should say. That might be interesting. Okay, there's our satchel. So we got a dude here. Mm, is that light going to stop my shot? Yeah, I think I hit the damn light. Are you guys all walkers? Well, except for you. And stay down. Here comes another runner. Oh, that guy. Okay, hey, you know what? I can do that too. Watch. See, I'm pretty good at that, huh? <laughs> Sucker. All right. Uh, I think that's... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, return to trader. We got it. We got it, man. We got it. Okay. Let's come up here. If those guys actually make it down that ladder, they'll meet some spikes. Okay, here we go. Let's put... Um, I never put my tough guy sunglasses on when I needed them the most. Of course. <laughs> Figures, right? Oh, well, whatever. We, we made it. Uh, let's pop these. And see what we got. Popping pills. A little bit of glue, ammo pile, 
Okay. Big food pile. Passing gas. Very nice. Okay, so now we have two crowbars. Love it. We have a purple and a green. Okay, that's a nice price for fixing up and selling. Actually, I might even keep that. Always welcome steel polish. I did discover yesterday, though, when I was looking at stuff, that I can actually make steel polish. Uh, so, yeah, that's good to know. Come on, give us something good. Thompson and a really nice steel helmet and some pretty decent steel boots. Okay, I'll take it. Um, don't care about the crossbow bolts. All right, that is it. Let's go do our turning. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to pay you now. Uh, another nice pump shotgun. Or a really nice ratchet, which is actually more valuable than the pump shotgun. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to take that ratchet. I mean, we do have an impact driver, but it's level level one. I can't repair it anymore. Um, and I haven't come across another one, so this will be a nice replacement for it once it breaks. Cool. And we get 4200 XP and 1242 dukes. All right, let's see what you have next. So you've got, this one is the closest. Not important. And what it's the, si un the asylum. The balls can't say All right, you know what? Surprise. Tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, we made really, really good time in the, uh, the waterworks. So I'm gonna go home, drop stuff off. And then I think because I've already done the asylum, I'm going to do it time-lapse style. And I'm probably... I, I won't necessarily show the whole thing. Yeah, we've already done this. Won't necessarily show the whole thing, um, but I'll record the whole thing and then, you know, edit it later. Uh, but we're just going to do it time-lapse style with some music because, you know, again, we've already done it. But I want to do it because, you know, there's a lot of good loot in there and, and uh, you know, all the benefits and that sort of thing. So I will meet you guys at the Asylum and uh, we'll get that knocked out.
Alright guys, we finished the asylum. Let's see what old Rekt has for us. Well, here. Steel knuckles, we antibiotics, flaming crossbow hero. bolts. And now he wants to be paid. Yeah. I mean those are kinda nice, but I don't know. This is 454. Uh I think I'm gonna take these just because they're the most valuable. Alright. What else you got? Okay, you got a new set of tier fours. Well, come to think of That's it, the lodge. We don't want the lodge. Nobody well, come to That's think the hostel. Do we don't want the hostel. That's the high school. Must be a half a zombie and what's this? Just the That's the church. Okay, so we have like already... You. We've already done all of these. Um... Yellow. So, I think what I might do is do the church. Well, what was this one again? Like you, the lodge. Maybe yeah, you know what? Let's do the lodge. Um, because well, I did the lodge on the live stream, but I didn't actually do it here on the Let's Play series. So, we'll do the lodge uh, in the next episode. But anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed our speed run of the asylum. Got a little hairy a couple of times there, especially when the... Uh, the uh, uh, little Shop of Horrors monster. I don't know what the hell that thing's called, so I just called it the Little Shop of Horrors monster. It came in. <laughs> I'm going, oh shit. It's kind of pen. It kind of had me pinned down. I I don't know how hard that thing hits. I imagine it hits pretty hard, uh, but I managed to get around it and then blow it up. And then I, I was constantly fighting outside zombies as well as, you know, the ones in the asylum. So that was fun too. But uh, I think we we did a pretty good job of uh, making things work. We got another point in um, automatics. Hold still. Another one? Jeez Louise. I wonder how many zombies I've killed tonight. Been a lot. You're still not dead? Oh. <laughs> he was like doing squats there. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do the lodge here on the series because here again, I just did it on the live stream, um, and that's the tentative plan for the next episode. Um, day 120, 19, actually tomorrow, 126 is, is the horde. So I think I'm going to spend today, day 125, uh, getting the horde base ready, and then during... Uh, depending upon how our time goes, we might start the next quest and the next episode um, later on in the afternoon of 125, or if not, then we'll we'll do it on during the day on 126. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.